man, some of the louder voices in the Manosphere part of the gaming community have been going on and on and on about what Frost said on the newly, like, Comcast bought G4 TV uh, at the end of last year, I think it was, and uh, they've tried to reboot it. And uh, people are making a big deal because Frost went on a rant about sexism in the gaming community. Here's some clips for some context. But I actually want to talk about something so much more important than Red Dead Online. Sexism in gaming. And joining G4... Yes! In, this is not where I thought we were going, I know, but I'm here. I have no here. idea. I'm listening. Yeah. In joining G4, I was ecstatic to be part of something that I grew up watching as a child. But every time G4 is brought up in various channels, even in this YouTube channel, we have the chat in front of us, I can see you, without a doubt, there will be backlash because I'm not as bangable as the previous host. It's somehow- Talk to him, Frost! It has somehow been expected that you can talk about how much you jerked off to women as a compliment. That's it's weird. not a compliment. It's weird. Yeah, telling someone something like that is creepy, at least in the kind of society we live in right now. I mean, if everyone was hypersexual, then it wouldn't be considered creepy, and it'd be more like uh, something you'd see in the sex rooms in Logan's Run. It's dehumanizing, and it's weird. Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn did not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. When people are on a show such as this, they usually want to try to look as good as possible for the camera. There are most definitely different standards between men and women. Women are expected to be feminine and kind of submissive, yet still excited, right? and wear sexy outfits, and wear a very specific type of makeup. Guys are expected to just simply not look trashy. If guys dress sexy, people automatically assume they're gay. And if they wear makeup, well, then they'll lose a certain part of their audience, assuming that we're talking about a gaming channel. Granted, there are certain types of women's styles that are specifically designed to turn men off. They're specifically designed to make guys not sexually objectify them. And I can't honestly blame them for doing such if they don't like that type of attention. I'm not saying objectification is always bad, but if women want to go out of their way to be as sexually unappealing to men as possible and call it fashion, it more power to them. And Frosk is a lesbian. Why would she want the sexual attention of men? Now, some people are suggesting that Frost has ugly girl syndrome, where someone is convinced that they get treated poorly because they're not deemed as attractive as a number of other people. So they always have a victim mentality and always complain about it. The thing about Frost is that she's actually really pretty, and I think she knows it. She just occasionally has an atrocious fashion sense. I mean, that hair that she has in the clip looks like a cross between a really bad Rod Stewart wig and Eric Christian Olsen's hair. You know, it might not actually look that bad if it was a dark color. And then there's that weird makeup she's wearing that looks like she's using blush as eyeshadow. But I mean, look, she's really pretty. So I don't get the people saying she's ugly. Apparently, some people don't really understand what they're looking at when they think someone is pretty or sexy. Apparently, most of these types of guys in question don't understand makeup. They don't want to understand makeup, nor hairstyles. They don't want to understand what fashion in general can do to someone's appearance. These kinds of guys just look at someone and they're either turned on or they're turned off, which is pretty simplistic, laughably simplistic if you ask me. And I'm not saying people should feel bad for it, but it is kind of humorous to me how willfully ignorant so many guys are about what they're looking at as far as fashion and makeup and appearances. I do think it was foolish for Frost to go on the rant that she did. I do think it's going to continue to hurt G4 TV. I mean, they've already lost thousands of subscribers. I do get a certain amount of schadenfreude from watching their numbers plummet. But I also think she was mostly correct in the things that she said. You know, as I said, uh, people do expect women on gaming channels to try to be feminine and sexy. And critiques of women on gaming channels are often quite different than the critiques of men, even if 
you know, the hosts are saying the same things. Now, I'm not saying that Frost was right about everything she said about games. She's said some things that are false. Okay, fine. You know, call her out just for those things. But that's not what often happens. And also, as I said, nobody, or really hardly anyone, expects guys to dress sexy on gaming channels. They can wear just about anything they want, and as long as it isn't super trashy, it's considered cool. I mean, look at that bearded guy on the left with this ugly patterned jacket over a shirt that has a print on it. Yeah, that's fugly, but it would take a rare gamer to give him a hard time about it. People certainly wouldn't just stop listening to what he says just because they don't like his fashion sense. But you know, if, if a guy looks too gay, or a woman looks too trans, or she looks way too lesbian or whatever, a lot of people will automatically assume that the channel is all about ideological propaganda. I mean, I'm not saying that such a hypothetical show couldn't be propaganda, but I wouldn't automatically assume it is just because they have some people on there that look a certain way. Having said that, if I was featured on some well-produced channel, I would definitely try to look my best on it. If I wanted to look edgy, I would do it with pizzazz. But that's just me. How do you feel about this stuff?